Hey everybody, how are you? <laughs> so here we are in um, food photography. And I, I can tell you a little story about the food photography shoot that I had to do um, for our class. And I thought, well, I'm going to buy, if I have to buy something to photograph, I want it to look delicious, not only look delicious, but I want to be able to eat it later. So I got this uh, chocolate cake, like a layer cake, and it had chocolate frosting on the top, and it was a yellow cake, and had, you know, cream in between, and, and uh, look, I cut a slice of it, and I had some fancy silverware on a plate, and a cup of milk, or glass of milk, and uh, then it ended up taking me, oh my gosh, I think it took over two hours for me to get a good picture of it. It was just... Uh, the backdrop, there was always something, you know, that was distracting and I had to work and work and work at it. And by the time I was done, the cake was stale. <laughs> I didn't even want to eat it. So anyway, so food photography is, um, it's not as easy as, you know, people think it is. Oh, you just photograph something that you eat. No, it's, and if you've read the articles, um, it looks like some of you have and some of you haven't from your work this week. So let's take a look. Uh, Michael was the first one to turn in. And Michael, I am super impressed with your work this week. I love it. I really want to see the pictures bigger, actually. I went ahead and um, I saved them in Bridge. But let me just see if I can make this. Yes, I can make them a little bigger. So your contact sheet is great, but it looks like it's all the same picture to me. Um, I love the little oval there. That's really cute. So that was the one that you saved. And, you know, I really, I mean, is there spray painting going on at your house? Because that's a cool backdrop. I like the lighting around the bananas. I like the color scheme. And this one is with the bananas that are going bad and then the dripping paint in the background. That is really cool. I think this is actually one that you should keep for your final portfolio. So, um, gosh, I don't even know if I'd call it food photography, though. It's more like... It's more of a still life, and, it, and it's also meaningful, so it kind of steps beyond just food photography. Whereas this one right here, that is so good, Michael. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love the completely black background, and then, you know, it's just, it's perfect. So excellent, excellent work. And I, I would be keeping these for my portfolio for sure. Okay, so let's look at our next victim. Oh, I better make this smaller. It's so huge. I do that sometimes when I'm having trouble reading. But to see a picture bigger, Command Plus, Control Plus, works great. Okay, so here we have Caden. Caden, I have to wonder if you read the article. Um... I can tell that there are different pictures here of this bowl of fruit and I'm really kind of bummed that I'm seeing the exact same setting as you shared with us last week, which, you know, I understand that, um, you know, we don't have anything, we don't have any huge fancy like studio or anything, but let me just tell you, it's as simple as getting a sheet of poster board or a you know, a, a big sheet of paper, um, whatever you have that you can bring and create a sweep behind something. So uh, that's what I would like you to do. And, and if you would like me to do a tutorial for that, I would love to. It's, uh, it's about kind of fooling the eye. So if you can get, you know, like a, a sheet of poster board or a big sheet of paper, you know, like they sell them at all the drug stores even, or um, some of the arts and crafts stores, and then kind of prop that up and then put your subject on top of it. 
and then get in close so that you can't see anything going on in the background. So, I mean, I teach that to even little kids and they do great with it, but they didn't know they could do it before. So, you know, this is beginning photography and I just, you know, I challenge you to come up with a better background. The lighting is good. I like the color of the lighting. That's pretty. Um, but other than that, it, it feels a little uninspired to me. Um, three pictures of a bowl of fruit. And uh, I don't know, it just even seems like the way you wrote about it, you just decided to use this bowl of fruit for your subject before it got thrown out. So you see what I'm saying here. I, I, I kind of want more. So um, if you'd like to resubmit this assignment, I'd love to see what you could do with it. I mean, even if it's just a beautiful apple or a, a lemon or something that you would use um, or what you're having for dinner. Um, I had a guy last semester who uh, he turned in a picture of a fruit roll up in the wrap, you know, in the wrapper and then out of the wrapper <laughs> on, a plate, on a paper plate. And I was like, oh, you're kidding. That's just the most delicious thing that you have. <laughs> so then he turned in Cheetos, but he made them in really interesting patterns. So it actually turned out to be a good photograph. So I want you to work a little harder on that one. And let's see, Kaverion, I'm so impressed that you went into work with your camera because you didn't have these, um, you know, bountiful vegetables at home. And look at what you created. This is a really cool photo. Uh, I'm not super thrilled about this stuff in the background, but that is nothing compared to these beautiful red onions. You know, they're so shiny and, and they're so clear. And I really like the editing that you did, how you faded the background. That's awesome. And I love this reflection. I am always a sucker for reflections. So, I mean, you could even crop this picture. Like I said, I don't, mm, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. You know, like when you look at, when you look at it in the contact sheet, it almost looks like, um, something abstract and then these are just like geometric shapes i'm never usually a fan of the tilt um just because that's something that younger photographers do and you know people kind of recognize it and term it like that so um but those onions are gorgeous so i would definitely keep that one and if you want me to help you with like cropping it i'd be happy to do that for you we could even wipe those things out. <laughs> could just like completely erase them and then Photoshop. And I've done that. So that is your superstar this week. Here, I mean, who doesn't love to see a tray of cookies? Other than that, um, not, not too terribly exciting. But I understand you're at work. You can't really like take the cookies um, off of the... Uh, I don't know, I guess it, it must be like an all-you-can-eat or salad bar or something like that where you work. And you can't like take the cookies and rearrange them. So I think you did the best you could with what you had. But even this picture could be made a lot better if it were cropped in tight. And then we couldn't see, you know, the tray. We couldn't see that it's on the bar at the, at the salad bar. You know what I mean? We kind of have to fool people into thinking, oh, look at that. What, where am I? Am I at a bakery? <laughs> and same goes for the spinach. I mean, the spinach looks lovely and fresh, uh, but it looks like it's in a salad bar tray. So, you know, if you had gone in closer and made it more of like a, you know, it's like abstract. So we're just looking closely at the beautiful spinach, spinach leaves and they look all fresh. So that could be made better as well. But I think overall, very good. Okay, and then let's look at Dylan. Dylan, I, uh, I kind of had a big sigh this week for you. And I usually really look forward to seeing what you're creating. 
because you always have something really good. And this week, I what I see here is your pictures from last week. I don't see anything new. I recognize these pictures, especially that one. That is your picture from last week. Um, so if I go back to last week and look at your pictures, I mean, seriously, those, those are the same pictures, right? Okay, so, I mean, the human eye and brain has an incredible capacity to remember images like, you know, I teach elementary school right now, art, because it's lucrative. <laughs> and I'll show them a picture when they're in kindergarten, you know, a famous artwork. And then, you know, when they're in third grade, I'll show it again and they'll be like, oh, you showed us that in kindergarten. It's just the visual memory is amazing. So um, honestly, I'd really like to see you resubmit uh, based on what we've discussed here today or um, my tips and, uh, and look into that article because I think you could really do something great. This is great for your still life for last week, but I'd like to see um, more from you for food photography. I mean, you could even just try cutting the fruit up and arranging it and, you know, have a, have a uh, sweep in the background. Like I was saying to, um, was it Caden with the fruit bowl? Yeah. So if you have a piece of poster board or, or a big sheet of paper for your background, it, you know, everything disappears but your subject. So try it. All right. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.